Hey guys, it's your boy Hello to Halo here. Uh, thanks for watching. First and foremost, uh, I wouldn't make these videos without you guys, so thank you uh, very much. If you guys like this content, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we do a lot of gaming content here. Uh, I do prefer Rocket League, Halo, and Fortnite. Those are three main games I do enjoy playing. If you ever want to play, just uh, leave a comment or just invite me. I mean, I may play with you just like that. Anyway, thank you again for watching. This is going to be a tutorial on ceiling shots. Uh, basically, what a ceiling shot. Well, I'll just explain it. I'll just show you. This is going to be a, a ceiling shot without using the ball. So basically, whenever you come off the ceiling, you have an infinite flip. And this infinite flip, it can definitely add like that. You saw how I wave dash right there with that flip reset. Let me do that without doing the wave dash. You look at my shadow next to the ball. You see I have an infinite flip. Now normally whenever you jump, you only have a little bit of a, a timer. See how I can't flip? I'm smashing the A button right now. I can't flip. So that will basically help just help to help you understand when you come off the uh, you can even do it off a wall like like this. When you come off a surface without jumping, you have an infinite flip. And using that flip can really help out, such as with the ceiling shot. Basically, take it up the wall, get about halfway up. This is just to show you all. I'll do the tutorial right now. This is to show you what it is. Just having that flip right there at that last second can definitely, as a defender, say I'm right here. I see you're coming in. I, I assume that you don't have the flip. So I'm going to jump in for it. And you're going to have the flip. And you're going to hit it right past me and get a goal very helpful it is a bit of a difficult mechanic to learn there's different ways of doing it too like jumping like that like that let me just try to slow it down a little bit though make it easier you just take it up the wall take about a little bit more than that little a little bit more than this right here like when the ball's probably about right here this is where you would hit it Put the ball about right there. That will send it about halfway to the middle of the court. And then from there, you can basically do what you want with the ball. You can do a wave dash like this. You can fake this ceiling shot. Like, see how I'm gonna basically. That it wasn't that good. Let me see. Basically, just fake this ceiling shot, make him think. That way, they may pre-jump for it and you can get an easy goal or you can add a wave dash uh, what I just did right there how I added that boost really quick all of a sudden different positions for ceiling shots that you can also use you can take it up here this one may be a little bit harder to understand because you do have to add in some air roll plus I missed so it didn't look good Anyway guys, ceiling shots can definitely help out your game overall. Let me try that this one again. I've scored a lot of these. Going against pretty high level players and they'll kind of expect you at the higher levels, but you can catch them off guard if you do it well. Like that, like just bang it. it it's just a really powerful shot that they have to react to. Say they're on the right side of the goal, me doing that and hitting it to the left side at that speed, even though it may not seem that fast, reacting to it. You're right here. Let's just say you're like this. And I hit it. How are you going to turn around like that? I mean. Just in those steps. There's a step of hitting it right there, coming up the wall. I think that's probably the hardest part of learning a ceiling shot. Basically just coming up the wall and actually positioning yourself because everything's inverted upside down. 
You just gotta kinda get used to going on the wall up in the ceiling. This isn't something that, I mean, can really be taught. You need to experience it. Basically, it's kind of inverse. You go left, and you actually go, like, so I'm gonna turn my stick to the left, but my car is gonna go right. So it can kinda get, you see what I mean? It can kinda get a little confusing for it. Another way, if you just wanna jump up like that, and forget that overall is just jump up with the ball as long as you speed up to the ceiling you will land like that and you will end up getting your flip you can also do a pinch with it well, that wasn't that good but it was a little bit lower it would have gone really fast You can also save the ball. I'm gonna do a low ceiling shot here. I'm trying to just keep it low. Oh, never mind. That wasn't good. Sorry, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to basically jump off the ceiling. I'm gonna try to do it here jump off the ceiling to make myself go a bit faster when you basically when you jump off the ceiling you still do have that little one and a half second two second little timer before your flip is gone anyway thanks again you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh, if you did enjoy please leave a like comment and subscribe to check out more of my uh, videos i do post basically uh daily why well, i do post very often i can't guarantee daily but almost every day i do post so uh please hope you guys enjoyed have a good day and stay safe thank you